I think the thing that I found most exciting, the single presentation that I'm going to go home really, really remembering, was the Kodak presentation. And it was an analysis on how they, as they struggled with the change in imagery, they got back to the basics of what Kodak's all about. And they realized it wasn't paper, it wasn't cameras, it wasn't ink, it was memories. And they really were in the memory business. And as I sat there, I was trying to figure out, in my own experience, what is it that my company does at the core? And to try to figure out how do you connect with customers on such an emotional level. It was a fabulous presentation. I think to talk about the change in our environment and our society today, that, that question is really an understatement. It's changing faster, I think, than many of us even know. Social media is a good example. There's a lot of people really enamored with what social media is and what social media, uh, media offers us. I think we need to uh, recognize that it's just another channel. It's just another technology. And the real opportunity for us is to figure out how we are agile enough that we can still communicate, we can still serve our, uh, the organizations, connect with our customers regardless of the technology. Um, because there will be a different social media tomorrow and there will be an, even another opportunity the day after that. We have to be agile enough to embrace it, to catch it, and to engage quickly. I think the business case for PR is really important. I believe for too long we haven't really focused efforts on defining what public relations is and the value it brings to the organization. And particularly when you start getting into competing resources, marketing, advertising, communications, internal, external, all of that, to be able to really connect with the leadership of the organization and define what you do and bring return on investment is really important. In my organization, I'm lucky. I have a chief executive and a fellow leadership team that really embraces communications. I still work every day to make sure my peers know what my team does and how we contribute to the bottom line because that, after all, is what it's all about. There's a lot of change going on and I think I would say I can't keep up with it all. It probably defines the environment we live in now. So the real question is how do you find out what's important? Uh, my my style, my technique is I surround myself with really smart people. And if I find someone that I think is smart and they're engaging in what's going on, I get close to them and I help them, I, I ask them to help me understand what's going on. There's, there's just so much change.